Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do The Cimmerian Hour of the Dragon, issue number one by Ablaze Comics. Yes, we're going to do another Cimmerian book, and uh, this one is really good. Uh, I mean, I also love the cover. I mean, it says it all. You know, dark, mystic, evil wizard, creature in the background, Conan on his knees, defeated maybe. Ah, very cool. So, um, it's been um, written by Julian Blondel and artist is uh, Valentin Secher, Secher, if I'm saying that correctly. And uh, that artist does also Meta Baron. So, uh, and Meta Baron is freaking awesome. So, check that out. So, yeah, this is the art what you're going to see. And uh, it's, pff, I already love it. Um, so, it seems that there are a couple of people going to the mausoleum. Uh, because they want to resurrect a dark priest uh, that's been, uh, let's say, slain or dead or uh, something like that. And um, he, it seems that he was one of the cruelest black priests that the world has ever known. He was also a ruler, I, I think. And his name is Xaltoten of Python. And uh, he reigned over Acheron uh, before the barbarian invasion 3,000 years ago. They want to resurrect him for a reason. So they go there and they have a an artifact with them. And they, it's called Ariman. And Ariman is the source of uh, immortality. And uh, it seems that uh, Xaltoten has once possessed this artifact. So they place them on his body and um, they say some, well, not really an incantation, but say stuff like, hey, rise, Xaltoten, something like that. And then um, they wait it and then Xaltoten rises again. And uh, the colors looks really, really cool also. So Xaltoten rises and um, he says, uh, who are you who have resurrected me? Well, sort of. So they introduce themselves, and this guy is, is Orestes. He is a uh, some kind of a black arts renegade priest of the Order of Mitra. And then he introduced the rulers of this world, if you can call them that. It's Valerius, rightful heir to the throne of Acolonia, lord of Almeric, baron of Tor in Nemedia, and finally Tarascus, brother of the king of the Media and successor to the throne. So, but... Zaltatun says, rulers? Is that really what you are? And um, so they want to, he wants to know why they have resurrected him. And they said, is it monsters? Is it demons? Is it wizards? Is it gods? What can I do for you? And he uh, said, they must be really power and numerous to seek the help of the emperor of Acheron. So what is it? So uh, Arasta says, um, well, it's just one man, but... Uh, he says also that his strings, all of combined, um, is, is amazing, is epic, and that uh, his people worship like he was divine. And they talk about Conan. And we see Conan here on this side here sitting on the throne, and we go to Conan. But before we do that, um, it seems that Xaltoten and the rulers have, you know, amassed some kind of an army here. And they're looking down in some kind of a valley, and we see here this this... I believe outpost of whatever it is that Conan is, is, is you know, living in here, ruling or something like that. Um, so Saltoten of Python says, um, he talks about that he has faced Sumerians before and that he killed them all. He says, um, I remember the clamors echoing at dawn, the clash of their swords and the battlefields trembling under their charges. I remember the blood shining under the setting sun. I kept my prom promises. Tarascus. I raised a storm, summoned vermin, blew the winds of the black plague on your kingdom. I killed your own brother to give you his crown and the throne of Nemedia. I'll keep my promise to you. Okay. Fucking happy. So, um, Conan sits here on the throne, but... Uh, just with a lot of uh, Blaze comics, I believe they just pick different timelines uh, of a Conan story and they pick them apart and just retelling them in, in, in book, in comic form. Um, and it seems, I am guessing, that this Conan is, uh, how do you say, 
not only old or older, but he's now king of Aquilonia, by the way. Um, he is, I don't know, he's, he looks a little bit, you know, depressive, uh, you know, that he's, he's cynical, he is uh, a little bit nihilistic. And he's, um, then his, one of his commanders comes in and he says that the enemy is at the gates. So Conan says, well, prepare your men and then we go out for battle. But he also looks at this, his, his armor and he says, uh, go, to your, uh, go to our soldiers to be ready. Tell them I have dream of Nemedian dogs. And then you, Krom, and you, Mitra, do you dream of me? But he gets some a visitor of none other than Zaltotun, and it looks freaking awesome. Zaltotun comes in, well, not, I'm not sure if it's a vision or maybe an appearance or uh, apparition, if you will. And the dialogue is so epic. I'm going to read it to you. He says, Your warrior gods can do nothing for you, Samarian. I am the one who makes and who defeats kings. I am the black plague. I am fear. I am the cold. And I want you to see you tremble on your knees in front of me. And but Conan says to finally, I'm no, I do not fear you. And then Zeltotun says, fear, but you owe me terror. I conquered your ancestors. I burned their villagers, their wives and their children. I could make you my own slave or dog. I would make you feast on my crows, but I won't kill you today. Um, he, say, he continues, I want you to hear the screams, the tears, the crying. I want you to complete, contemplate the defeat of your army, the fall of your kingdom, the advent of Acheron and the death of your people. And he says, look, Samirian, look and tremble, look and cry. Day, I will come back for you. Then I will come back for you. It's so epic. It's so cool. Oh, man, I was, when I read this, I was really into it. Like I'm, you know, doing now. I just speaking like in some kind of ominous voice, like the sorcerer is probably doing to Conan. It's so cool. And uh, but then Conan lies here on the floor. Not sure what happens to him. And he reaches to his, his arm and he says, my armor. And then, I'm sorry, I'm probably going to show you a lot, but there's so much epic pages in here. So uh, if you do not want to see it, just, you know, skip the video. I hope you don't, but you know, stick around. And then, um, so we see a, um, an epic battlefield. And, but the, the, the rulers are a little bit concerned because they are still fear Conan because of what they've done and that he has so, so much immense power. Um, and as you can see here, Conan is now, you know, some kind of a, well, that doesn't, not really a speech, but he says, for Mitra, for Ymir, for Krom, and for Akalonia. And then the horn blows and they, they ride into battle to, uh, to uh, you know, kill each other. And then it looks so epic. I mean, it looks like a scene from, I don't know, um, Lord of the Rings, you know, the movie, you know, oh, it looks so epic. And they're all shouting, Bosonians, Gunderman, son of the lion, with me. And then it, it, just look at this, it's freaking awesome. Yeah, there are some, some Photoshop elements here, but it's not really massive or intrusive. It just actually, I hate to admit it, <laughs> But it actually complements the whole color scheme and, and the whole vibe here. And uh, but then, um, so the, the 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 leaders of this world, the rulers, are don't know what's happening, and they say we need to retreat. We cannot we cannot do this. But then the wizard says here, no, let them continue. So he picks up a uh, rock and he crushes it, and blood springs from his hand, and then this mountain explodes. Because of his magic and then everything is falling down on the Aklonian soldiers including Conan and then he also says see what real power is rulers of Acheron the king is dead but then that's not the case so they're gonna inspect the body and it's not Conan I was a little bit surprised at that because then they go to the uh, settlement where Conan is it and then you know they say um, I know you there Samirian show yourself let's finish this and then Conan comes out. Again, I, I was surprised because um, maybe I have a, a little bit uh, a, a different view of who Conan really is. I always envision Conan as a massive battle-hardened 
barbarian that doesn't back down for anyone. You know, he's the ultimate Chad, if you will. He's the, he's the, he's the peak toxic masculinity of the, you know, that's what modern day people, you know, certain people tell you, which is bullshit. Um, you know, but so Conan comes out all angry and shouting and he says, um, um, but before he can do that, uh, because he can do anything because he's, uh, he, he, how do you say, uh, challenge the king um, and he wants to, uh, you know, yeah, kill him. But then the, the Zaltoton of Python comes out and he touches him on the forehead and he says, we don't kill a lion because it bites. We train it. And then he falls down and it feels like uh, for Conan that his, his, how do you say, his spirit leaves his body. There's, he has no, he cannot do anything. And he, he goes into, he goes into, you know, into, you know, he, he He's unconscious. That's what I'm trying to say. You know, sleeps befall him, <laughs> something like that. I also love the fact that this that he has this blurry vision, and then when um, Xaltatus is standing over him, that the sun is you know from the from the back, looks really epic. I must say, it just I don't know. It's just I mean, look at this. They just drag him away into wherever it goes to a kingdom, and um, I told you, Samarian, I won't kill you today. I have other plans for you. The new Acheron will need soldiers. And then um, one of the last pages is we sent here that in the kingdom of... Uh, I'm sorry, who is this guy? In here? Let me little bit check before I... Uh, Tarascus, I'm sorry, yes. So Tarascus doesn't know or understand why uh, Zaltoton wants to keep him alive. I mean, why not kill him? Um, because then the other ruler can, you know, take his quote-unquote rightful throne to... Uh, Acolonia, now that Conan is dead. But um, Zaltoton says, um, One thing that mortals have in common is that they are more useful in life, Tarascus, and Conan will soon be my pro most precious ally. And uh, <laughs> But Tarascus laughing at him, he says, Your ally? Conan the Barbarian? He says. And um, But this, I believe, uh, slave, listens what they have to say. And... Um, but also then Tarasca says that Conan will never leave here. I mean, he has the thickest walls and, and it's also called the, the, the Iron Fortress or something like that. And we see him here in the pit lying there, um, captured. And yeah, that's, that's the end of this book for now. Um, because we go into um, issue number two, well, not now. And this is the, 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 well, the Hour of the Dragon novel, I believe. Um, and it's been made, look at this. 1935 by Robert E. Howard. Jesus Christ, it's almost, let's say, 90 years old, 90-ish years old. It's freaking fantastic. So cool. So if you are uh, also a book reader, I'm not so much because I am I want to read books, but then somehow if I see this, I'm just, I just stop and I say, no, no, this is too much. I have to, I'm, I'm, I need to visualize things and I need to have, you know, have time to myself to read all this, but I just, cannot do it somehow I just books is not really for me although yeah I, I like books but I cannot get into it it's too much text I guess so and then we have also uh, these beautiful looking covers um, of this uh, this uh, this issue and it goes into issue two uh, I don't have this cover I have got a much way better cover just let me get it for you so that we so that you can see which we gonna review in the next episode uh, issue number two and uh, now look at this. Holy shit. This is, the, this is a Cal Hotz cover. This is uh, Hour of the Dragon number two. I also read it. It's, it's freaking fantastic. Look at this. This is so epic. It's so amazing. Oh, man. Um, when, when it comes to a blaze, it's sometimes a hit and miss, you know. Um, but I think they really knocked it out of the park. I'm, it feels so... It feels so epic, you know, the, the, the dialogue and, and the way it's been told and, and the way it's been, been drawn and, and depicted. It's, it's just so cool. It feels very immersive and very atmospheric. And, you know, that, that Zalto turn is, is, you know, look at this. It's just, it's, well, you can see it for yourself. It looks really cool. And that he is actually intimidating Conan here with, uh, with ah, just 
so much, so much epicness is in, in this page. Uh, guys, <laughs> I, I, I need to stop ranting, or I'm saying not ranting, um, glorifying probably this comic because I'm really giving it a big thumbs up. Uh, it's really fun. It's really, you know, you're getting really immersed in the whole story and you want to know more. And the art is spectacular, by the way. So, yeah, um, check out Conan, uh, I'm sorry, The Sumerian, Hour of the Dragon from Ablaze Comics, if you will. Um, and, yeah, come back for, the, for new reviews coming soon. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.